Hello, this is Nelson Pereira from Binet TV. Welcome to the Mobile World Congress 2013 in Barcelona. And with us is Aaron from Altair. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. Busy show. Thank you. It's a long day. Oh my God, you have no idea. But anyway, uh, this is the place to be. Everybody and everybody in the industry is here, from uh, cell towers to semiconductors to backhaul to application to gaming, everybody. But more importantly, this whole entire industry could not be what it is today without companies that's out there. And can you talk to us about your company and what role they play in this ecosystem? Yes, definitely. So Altair is a uh, chip company that specializes in the uh, design, marketing, and uh, uh, selling of LTE-only uh, chipsets. So we are a single-mode LTE uh, chipset company that focuses on uh, providing, uh, I would say, semiconductor and software solutions for what we call, and others as well, the Internet of Things. So basically, um, affordable, uh, very high performance, small footprint, low power consumption chipsets that connect everything and anything to the uh, to the cloud, basically to the internet. I always say, what is once you open that box and you see behind it what makes it work? Is those guys who actually deserves the credit, and your company is one of them. Well, thank you. It's actually it's pretty amazing that in such a small footprint, uh, such a small package. Uh, so much uh, energy, money, time, and brain is is invested, and uh, people think of this as a component, but it's actually a very, very complex system, even from a semiconductor perspective. And how long have you guys been doing this? And if I would like to do business with you or any provider, especially for our first-time viewers, um, they would like to reach out to you, what would be the best way? So we've been around for, uh, I guess, just about eight years uh, since the, the company was uh, founded. Uh, we've had a 4G semiconductor focus from the get-go. Um, uh, we started from a WiMAX background and evolved into LTE pretty early on. Today we're 100% um, LTE focused and I believe uh, we're one of the leading chip companies in this, uh, in this space. Uh, Altera is a global company. Uh, headquarters are based in Israel. Uh, so we're an Israeli company, uh, but we have sales offices in uh, the U.S., uh, Germany, India, Taiwan, Japan, so it's pretty global uh, operation. Uh, right Very now. good. I mean, I, I guess the part of reaching out to you being such a powerful com company in terms of uh, semiconductor, that's semiconductor industry, um, one of the things comes up always when I'm here, what is new? What is that? Because obviously the LTE market is expanding and the industry is growing, especially those regional areas are pushing themselves to more and more LTE coverage. What role does your company play, and especially now, what announcement do you have in Barcelona today? It's a good question. So I think that the um, message of LTE is, is not new, right? I mean, we've seen LTE solutions out there in the market, carriers launching, uh, but I think the focus has been much, much more on smartphones and much less on, again, that concept of connecting everything, the Internet of Things. And from that standpoint, we as a pure play uh, LTE, uh, chip company uh, aim to serve exactly that purpose and um, I think you're starting to see a very very strong trend uh, towards basically looking at um, I would say uh, consumer devices that already have Wi-Fi and now how do you extend that uh, internet connectivity beyond just the Wi-Fi into the wide area network um, until now 3G was what you know the technology that attempted to serve that need and LTE is coming right in with a much more cost-effective uh, solution from um, a, an end device perspective but also from a network operator perspective you know very high uh, efficiency in terms of uh, spectral you know, spectral efficiency uh, and very low cost per bit very high uh, performance very good user experience and um, for us, this is the first show that we're really starting to see the concept of connecting everything without legacy support, without 3G support on a pure LTE connection, which gives the user uh, basically an extension of what they get today in the home, right? The Wi-Fi connectivity, even wired communications, extending those bit rates, the very high quality of service, all the way to the wide area network outside of hotspots. That's the big, that's the big thing. That's very impressive, but more importantly, let me move on. The, quest, the other question I pretty much have for you is, is, what is the future? I mean, obviously you guys have been doing this for such a long time, and I always keep asking myself every time I come to these shows is that the wireless industries keep growing and keep expanding at the same time. 
What do you see, especially from your standpoint of view as a company who's been, who has an experience behind this, the future of wireless communication and what is the role Voltaire is going to be playing? Okay, so I think uh, when you look at the wireless space, uh, the most, uh, you know, the biggest opportunity that everybody is pursuing is, you know, smartphones, right? Connecting people who talk to each other over a wireless uh, connection. But when you look at it, there's actually not that much growth in that area because too many people have phones. So what is that next uh, evolution step in which you would start connecting everything? You know, some people call this M to M, machine to machine. Uh, when you start connecting, you know, machines uh, without any human intervention, um, and there's also uh, the whole concept of connecting uh, consumer devices. But that's where the huge growth actually lies because. You know, phones, yeah, there's probably, you know, a billion, a billion and a half phones sold right. every year. But now think about uh, connecting anything and everything. And I mean, we're not talking about connecting uh, espresso machines and, you know, uh, dishwashers. That's not what this no. Internet of Things is all about. It's connecting every, you know, camera, every gaming device, um, every car, um, every tablet. I mean, everything connected to the cloud. And you start seeing concepts like, you know, the Google Chromebook, for example, which is a very thin client and completely builds on the concept of the cloud. And when you start connecting very uh, multimedia capable devices to the cloud, you need a very fat pipe. Absolutely. Okay? And LT is exactly what provides that. And the, the new thing here is lowering the barrier to, the, uh, to integrating these technologies, LTE technology inside of devices, and this is exactly what Altair does. We want to think of ourselves as the guys who will you know, bring that uh, you know, very affordable, yeah, we will bridge uh, that gap in terms of being able to lower the cost, lower the integration effort, and basically connecting anything and everything. Well, Ryan, as always, I'm always learning something new. And I do appreciate your time, especially with us today, because this industry is just going to grow. And companies such as yours are going to create that growth and help us have a better wireless experience. Amen to that. Thank you for your time. Thank you, sir. Thanks. And this is Nelson Pereira from Vineta TV at the Mobile World Congress 2013 in Barcelona.